what's going on it's our time to be free family welcome back to the shut your inner critic up series that i've been uh, providing videos for you a lot of times we feel like our thoughts are just spiraling out of control well today we're going to be focusing on a strategy that you can use today to actually help you take control of those thoughts all right so before we jump into it go ahead and uh, if you have not started the series yet, there will be a link above. Go ahead and click that link and start from the beginning of the series and go through it with, with me. And also, while you're here, down in the description, check out my Silence Your Inner Critic program. It's an eight-week program to give you support on silencing that inner critic and giving you more tips and, and strategies on how you can really silence that inner critic and start taking control of your life. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into this one. All right, well, again, we're gonna be focusing on a strategy that helps you take control of your thoughts because when we look at self-criticism, self-criticism can, e can easily become a habit that feeds on itself. Once you start telling yourself these negative things, it's really hard to stop. I think you've noticed that. You know, I used to tell myself these negative things, and I used I was believing them. So each one, each time these thoughts come into my head, I would believe it, and it was a constant, nonstop battle. But fortunately, you know, as I've shared in my previous videos, there are just a number of ways to recognize and counter negative mean statements and thoughts that we tell ourselves. So today, I like to teach you another technique that is really incredibly effective in managing your negative self-talk. And it's called stop, drop, and roll method. All right. The stop, drop, and roll method is similar to the strategy we learned as a kid to put out flames from clothing. This tool works to put out the flame of disruptive thoughts that threaten to keep you off course. So without, um, let's, let's go ahead and um, let me share with you how this method works. Okay, the first step is stop. Okay, that is the first step, stop. That seems pretty straightforward and obvious, right? Stopping can be difficult though. Until you learn to become aware of your thoughts that eat away at your confidence, you know, it can be difficult. So hopefully you've had time along our journey through the, through the video process to access your own negative self-talk and practice turning it around. With this technique, stop and address the mean words that are playing in your head. The minute you notice they're, they're starting to invade your mind. Tell yourself that you're in charge of your thinking and that you're going to change this unhealthy pattern right now. That is the stop method, all right? That is the stop part of this, of this progress. You know, basically, what the stop method is is becoming aware of your thoughts, all right? And then changing that around. So stop and access your own negative thoughts and then tell yourself that you are in charge of your thinking and that you're going to change that right now, today. Next, you'll drop that thought. So the next one is drop. Recognize that it's unhealthy for you and that it isn't helping you in any way. Yes, your inner, your inner critic tries to keep you safe, but it's really not helping you in any way. So understand that you have the power to change your thinking and frame it in a way that benefits you if you're having trouble getting rid of it, you can try a couple of different uh, strategies to refocus yourself. Take a deep breath, inhale slowly, and let it out. You can even imagine you're blowing away the awful thought and letting it go. Counting to 10 also works wonders when you need to recenter and get control of your emotions. Once your head is clear, it will be easier to move on to the next step. Because the next step we're going to be focusing on is roll. So, roll. Now it's time to roll with some new, positive, and helpful thinking. Instead of holding on onto the old thought that tears you down, drop it 
and roll on with a new version of thought that has the potential to truly motivate you. Self-criticism isn't meant to build you up. It's meant to tear you down. This type of tough love that we give ourselves, this tough love approach, rarely works with us or with other people. So take the last step of this process and come up with a better thought. This can be hard to do on the run. It can be hard to do uh, at first. That's why you take, that's why you, you in the beginning, you, you, took, you took the time with the drop method to breathe and relax. So now that your mind is clear, you can find a more positive take on the negative self-talk and inner critic that was dishing out all these negative mean words to yourself. So the stop, drop, and roll method of managing your inner critic is merely a way for you to, to force you to slow down so that you don't keep fanning these flames that, are, that, that is continuously harming you. So you're able to catch your breath and make decisions to stop your own mean voices from taking over, taking over and spiraling out of control. So check out this method, the stop, drop, and roll. You want to stop, become aware of your thoughts. Then you want to drop that thought. And then you want to roll on with a new thought. Guys, if you enjoyed this series, please, please go ahead and shoot it a like. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check out the first episode of the series up here. And then down in the description, check out my eight-week program if you're feeling like you need more support on your journey. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. It's our time to be free.